Welcome back to episode 6 of My Summer Car, and without further ado, let's, uh, let's continue the build. Okay. I forgot there was a light. I am trying to hunt for a... needle. Oh. Oh, it is so nice. What is the temperature now? I can look th you can look through walls if you press Q. That has been... Oh my god, amazingly good, but they're gonna get rid of that, you know that. Like, that is that is something that a game developer would not want in their game. Um, it helped me during the build process. Endlessly. Like, because I did not want to watch anything that would uh, tell me how to build. Oh, got it. I would not watch. Uh, I did not want to watch anything that would tell me how to build the engine. I wanted to work from scratch. Some people just like to go on YouTube, discover how to do it, and just do it. Like just watch a tutorial, whatever. Their their fun is in is in the, is in the process of doing it, not necessarily the discovery. Yeah. Okay. So I think I got confused by this the last time and had to. I guess almost call it pixel hunt for the location to put the piston. But now I've got the recipe down. I have got this recipe down. You just gotta stick it over the hole as though you were actually sticking it. Okay, good. Okay. I cannot wait to get this ute rolling. I am so excited. Okay. So this part is outside. You know what? I'm just gonna start grouping the parts together. If I see a part that confuses, like, like, all this stuff is strewn about. Like, I don't want engine stuff in the same place as exterior stuff. I don't want this stuff. So let me just quickly arrange it here. These hubcraps. Hub, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to stick to that. These hubcraps are terrible, by the way. I just... Ugh, it's so bad looking. Maybe it's just... Maybe you can just find a way to make it look good with different color tires. You can color the rims, which I love. That is awesome that you can do that. Okay. And as I spot parts that I can put on, I'll just slap tack them on there. Slap tack them. Slap tack them. This is the part that I most likely suspect was damaged. So hopefully I didn't damage it as I was flinging around like a madman there. I hope no one saw that. I hope I decided to edit that stupidity out. Where are the push rods going to go, people who know carbureted and old school and I guess it's not really old school they have them now where are the push rods gonna go anyone who's a car guy is asking <laughs> this one's fairly obvious one two three four five six and so on and a good old once over my scroll rule scroll wheel seems to have uh, temporarily fixed itself, so that should be good. There is something... Oh, no. No! No. Okay, if you if you do that... There's something that used to happen. There's a blue garbage bin out front there, and I tossed... In my other file, I tossed all of my garbage into that bin, and from what I remember, before this one update that happened a little while ago. The garbage bin used to empty every session. Now it doesn't. So it is so full of crap on my file that it is starting to overflow. I managed to kind of shove various objects uh, into the bottom that I wasn't able to fill fully or, or didn't quite have the right item to fit it like a puzzle, but now it's starting to get that way and I hope it doesn't cause lag. So far it seems to be alright. I come from the years of a really, really crappy second-hand computer being used for Gary's Mod, and if you know anything about Gary's Mod, oh my god, uh, sometimes that game can destroy the performance of your uh, computer. So I, I don't know if I decided to cut them out or anything, but um, there, there were various attempts at washing myself in the sauna. All failed because the rocks were not hot enough. I always like to retwist the knobs, make sure that they're going to be, uh, it's going to be nice and hot next time I enter the, uh, the sauna, or at least hope they're gonna be nice and hot. Oh, here's another trick here. You're thirsty when you're working in the garage? Job done. Job done. Just stick yourself directly in the corner, twist over, pull that, that, uh, pull that knob. It's great. Convenient. I don't have the same trick for food. Wait, I do. Don't, do I? 
Do I, David? My name is David, by the way. I, I don't think I ever have ever said that. My name is actually David. I don't care if anyone knows. It's fine. But I'll just stick to Rambit. I'm, I really like that name. So these four future reference commit this to memory right now. If you want to get into tuning the car, uh, these little screws, if my scroll wheel wasn't broken, I'd be able to show you better. Okay, these little screws on the bottom closest to me right now being waved around, waggled around like that, that's what you tune to tune the engine, get more horsepower out of the, get more power out of the engine. Um, go ahead and practice once you get the car built. Uh, I'm sure it'll be worth it. I haven't done it. I haven't even touched on that in my other car. You can have the oil cover. This is called an oil cover, right? The, to the to time top cover? Rocker, rocker cover. Okay, you can have the rocker cover off when tuning that, so, I mean, like, you don't have to set, do a specific setup and and uh, put the oil ro the uh, cover back on and because uh, no no oil's going to be splashing around up here as you saw there one two three four five screws nice and easy and again these are the screws now that I can point at them these are the screws that you want to be tuning on every single one of these <sighs> oh, sounds like a pain and start screwing this engine I turned okay only scroll the scroll wheel when you know it's safe to scroll the scroll wheel because I think I just undid something deep inside the engine thank you physics I'll find out when my car has no oil left that sound good that sounds really good so there's three on top you can clearly see them and one there's two and there's three on the bottom. Perfect. So this is the transmission side, and this is where the the side where the more the serpentine belt will be, that system there, that whatever that's called. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. I forgot to put the camshaft in. Oh, so I guess it's skinny enough to slip in the hole. Oh my god, could you imagine if I... Oh, frick, had to tear that whole thing apart. Actually, that wouldn't make sense because there's nothing really that I put over top of that. I know this is a smaller screw. I am not going to get bamboozled. This is going to be small, tiny, tiny. Why do you... Maybe not, though? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's the smallest. So, now that I'm, I'm back into building the engine, now I can see how someone could speed build this stuff. Uh, or at least understand. Hey, puppy. There's a doggy outside the window. There is a, there is a puppy doggy outside the window. I think. I just saw it go by. So, that's great. I could see how someone could speed run this. Plug in the clutch cover plate. Oh, <laughs> dumb. Screws are a thing. Make this, go ahead and make this easier for myself, because that's a thing I can do. I'm going to say right now, I'm going to guarantee that I don't got all these tightened. Make sure they're tight. Make sure they're tight. Okay. Uh, apparently that's good. Um, so, I was going to stick on the clutch cover, cover plate, but that was dumb. Uh, now that I see, actually get a chance to look at it, actually, it's dumb that I'm saying, uh-oh. When did the oil pan come off? Did I take that off? Holy crap. Yeah, because of the camshaft. That's right. I particularly despise this part of building the engine. Let me tell you, buddy. Let me tell you. I like to use a star pattern that you'd use on wheels normally. I don't think that's a... Oh, no! Okay, so this and this need to be in that. I feel that's a good place to leave it off. Um, as you can see, a little bit of trial and error. It's been a long time since, I build the, since I've uh, built the engine. So, uh, 
next time we will start again where we can uh, continue building that engine. Thanks.